Good evening and welcome back. So this is the fifth match in the group stages of the Champions League where joint top spot with AC Milan. So let's hope we can get three points against Midland. We're through to the knockout stages anyway, but I'd really love to get that top spot. And of course, the last match was against AC Milan. I would expect that they're going to be Anderlecht and for us to beat Midland, we'll have to wait and see. Ruben Castro is going to continue up top. He's on that flashing up, which means his experience is increasing more than normal. I have made a few changes and brought in the likes of Debushi, Ogbonna, Mariba, and the rest of the lineup is pretty much the standard lineup. So big match today. Like I say, if we win this one, I'm assuming AC Milan are going to win their match as well. And it's going to be a battle for top spot in the last match against AC Milan. But let's focus on this game first. Let's just get those three points and worry about the next match and where we stand later. Castro got a hat-trick in the last match and got an 8.5 rating. Absolutely brilliant. We even took him off after 50 minutes just because he got that hat-trick and want to rest him. Like I've said in the previous couple of matches, when you're on that flashing up, when you've got that increase in growth, you want to play them in as many matches as possible. And if that means that you need to sub them off early to give them a little bit more energy for the next match, then do it. Um, you know, you get experience for... I think it's about if you play as long as you play 15 or 20 minutes of a match somewhere around there then you get experience um anyway let's focus on the match here it's Cousins, castro Cousins again oh it deflects straight into the keeper's arms what a fast start we certainly had that in the last match And it seems obvious, obviously, you know, the whole, oh, well, if you score first, you're more likely to win it and all that. It's not just that. It's the way I play. If I score early, I tend to relax a little bit more. And, I mean, obviously, you've seen, we very rarely don't win a match. Here's Vieira. Oh, just wide. Really good effort there with his weaker foot. Was our star captain. One of our, I think, well, one of our very first signings for sure. I can't remember if he was technically the first. And 1 0 down. I brought Schubert out there, but saying about a quick start, this is exactly the opposite. A really nice ball over the top, just on side. Really bad defending though. And Schubert had to come out, did all he could. Yeah, couldn't do much else there. And like I say, not the start we wanted. PSDRB. Castro now, but gets tackled. Martinelli didn't play in the last match. He had a bit of a rest, as did Diaby. And the last match, Martinelli did play. He didn't have the best of games. He scored right at the end, but in the game itself, he wasn't at his best. So he needs to put in a decent performance today. Well, I don't know why Schubert punched that. Bit all over the place at the moment. Here's the RB though. Castro. Oh, Nelly, a nice ball through it to Martinelli. So those little fractions though, when they're not, don't go your way when you're behind. The RB, Castro. The RB again. Try to play it through to Castro. Manages to still keep it though. Martinelli, I don't know how that was blocked. I really don't know how the, the AI blocks so many shots in this game. Like, from ridiculous angles and, you know, anyway. Midfree through the first half. Need to get a foothold in this game. Diaby, Castro, Diaby. Oh, I just overshot it. It's a great move.
Vieira. Castro. Vieira. Too tight an angle there. I was thinking of having a shot. Jarby. Now Mariba. Not a lot of space. Plays it out wide to back it. And there it is, 1 0. And it is Castro again. Backer with a nice little cross. Was very patient here. Played it out wide to back it. He didn't panic. He just played a nice little ball. Castro with a header. Back in the game. So that's what we want. I know we're just back level pegging, but I think when we get that first goal, it tends to just spare us on. And again, Castro scoring. And the plan will be the same, hopefully, if we can take a lead at some point. I want Castro to be subbed off fairly early, if possible. Lovely. Oh, come on, ref. I'm not even going to start having a rant about it. But that was definitely a good tackle. Came away with the ball cleanly. Comfortably held there by Schubert. And let's play it quickly. Come on. Here's Martinelli. Ah, oh, it's a poor ball by him. Needed to be quicker. Where is the defence there? Good tackle that time. Now Bonnet, Castro, Martinelli. Somehow Castro gets tackled out. Nelly again. DRB. Castro. Getting his shirt pulled. Come on, ref. That should be half time. And it is. We'll jump straight into the second. Frustrating half, but got to say they deserved... To be level at least. Um, didn't play well. And they. You know they did look threatening. On the attack. Is Cousins. Martinelli now. Castro. Oh should have been. 2-1. Castro. And it is 2-1 this time. That's what we wanted. An early start in the second half. Castro has scored five in two games. Should have really scored here. Pretty much straight at the keeper. Hit the keeper. Giobbi with the little back flick. Castro no hesitation this time. The worst start for Midland that they could expect. Tackle. Back has been playing well today. Now Martinelli. Backer again here. Offering lots of support. Oh. Just didn't uh, get through there. That wasn't the best of passes either. It was a sloppy ball. Castro. Oh, that was a poor pass. Well, some sloppy passes by both teams at the moment. But I found a, a gap here. How didn't I uh, tackle that player? For God's sake. 
could not get the ball back and somehow they've uh, can't even bother to watch this to be honest so where you're trying to tackle and just just can't do anything very strange Diaby now Cousins Vieira Castro and it's another hat trick and we're back in front <laughs> back to back hat tricks from Castro definitely going to make some subs and bring him off after this nice ball from Martinelli but it's this control brilliant finish Yeah, lovely turn slot away, and we will make those subs now. So, Hatrick here, Ruben Castro coming off for Xerxy. Fabio Vieira is going to come off for Kang and Lee, and Carlos Perez is going to take Diaby's place. Yep, yeah, Ruben Castro, that's back to back Hatricks. Amazing stuff. Wanted him to bring him off a little bit earlier if possible, but 60 minutes are still fine. He should still be able to play in the next match, although probably with a bit of a Lacking of energy as such. And Xerxes and Carlos Perez are in straight away here. Uh, didn't fall kindly for Kang and Lee. Backer, who's been very good in this game. Xerxes, he gets caught offside way too often. I know he's a very good player, but so many times he gets caught. There was no need for it there. Carlos Perez, Martinelli, Zixi. I'm not sure what that was. Is Cousins. He's had a fairly quiet game. Zixi, good touch, but I oh, just lost it in the end there. I thought it was a good touch. He seemed to not react after that, though. Good play there. Martinelli, Cousins, now Maribet gets it back. Martinelli. Oh, it's a terrible tackle. Got to be yellow for that. Went through the back of him. Nope. <laughs> and it's 4 2 now. Zixi with a header. And we actually just got, uh, finally got that set piece strategy trophy that I've been searching for for ages. A lovely footballer. We don't normally... Um, I normally take them short when it's not in shooting range. But decided to float it in. A lovely header from Xerxes. That's more like it from him. He's such a good player, but he just... He frustrates as well sometimes with his offsides and losing the ball and things like that. But he's consistently one of our best, if not the best, overall rated player in terms of their, their stats at the end of the season, um, their match ratings. I think he was top last season. Which is quite incredible. Here's Cousins. Cousins, oh, good save. You know, you've got to remember, we... Well, we were behind, and then we were winning, and then it's back to a draw, and then... back to somewhere a little bit more comfortable. Now, Baka should get this, and he does. Now, Cousins, Baka again. 
That's uh, just a little bit too close to keep it, but the idea was that back has been very good. I hope he gets a decent rating in this game. He's been very uh, influential on that left-hand side. He's Kangali. Perez, Martinelli. Oh, the inside of the post. It's about as close as you're going to get. I think that's twice today we've hit the inside of the post. Still a few minutes left, won't it? Make sure we don't let in the goal and have a tight finish. Bad defending. Don't lose the ball there. It's just... He is back again. Still got energy somehow. And he's here again. Now Martinelli. Reba. And he gets absolutely shoved off the ball. Mariba again, though. Decent save. Maybe one last chance here. Not with a ball like that. That should be full time. And it is. But it's another three points. And another Castro hat trick. Yeah, as you can see. Yes, we had the more of the possession and the shots on goal. But... They had five shots all on target. They scored two. Midland were, impressed me a lot today. Castro getting another 8.5. I know it was a hat-trick, but you don't often get 8.5s, and that's back-to-back. Hat-tricks and an 8.5 for Castro. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Kang and Lee did get a 4.5. He didn't really contribute much when he came on out. I think that's a bit harsh, though, but it was a struggle at some times, but another three points. And as you can see, Milan actually got a draw against Anderlecht, so we now go into that last game against them, only needing a point to keep that top spot. So that's it for today, guys. The next match is at home to Sporting de Gijon in the league. And as you can see, in a few games' time, we've got that home match against Barcelona. Seven points ahead in the league. Looks like we're probably going to get top spot in the Champions League and we're through to the knockout stages. We're still in the Copa del Rey. Everything's looking up. So join me for the next matches. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And drop a comment down below. I'll see you all then. Cheers.